was a medical student. Uh, I wasn't at all sure which specialty I wanted to, uh, to have as my specialty after I graduated. And, uh, and then I did a rotation in family medicine and it was fantastic. I worked with an, uh, an elderly family doctor and he spent a lot of his time uh, seeing patients in their own homes. And so we spent a lot of time driving around a rural area, visiting patients in their homes. And, and I saw what a fantastic job uh, he did and how, uh, how much he was part of his local community, which was, uh, which was wonderful to see. I first came across uh, Dr. McWinney's uh, teaching when I was handed a copy of his textbook of family medicine. I, at the time I was in the final year of my residency and I was spending time in the academic department of family medicine at Monash University in Melbourne and I was learning about primary care research and about medical education as well as uh, doing clinical work. And the head of my department gave me a copy of this new textbook and said I want you to have a look at it and see if this is something we might use for teaching our own students. And it was Ian McQuinney's book. And I, I started to read it, and I started reading through the principles of family medicine that Dr. McQuinney had outlined. And I thought, this is amazing. This, this guy really knows about family medicine, and he really understands the, the, the discipline of family medicine, what makes family medicine different from other specialties. And, uh, and so clearly I recommended that we use his book. And, uh, and then uh, over time I had the opportunity to uh, hear Dr. McQuinney speak at a number of international uh, conferences and to speak to him as well, which was a great opportunity. My favourite thing about working in family medicine is the opportunities uh, which are presented through the work we do with all our patients. Every person that I, that I see, that I have the privilege to see as a family doctor, is, provides me with new insights into human beings in the way that we live our lives, the way that we deal with the challenges of, of illness and, and, and pain and, and distress, the inspiration which you receive uh, from uh, the people that you, uh, that you work with uh, as well and the, the wonderful continuity which exists in the work that we do in family medicine through getting to know our patients and their families over very extended periods of time and the the great privilege of the insights which this provides to us. I think also I really love my colleagues, both my, my family medicine uh, colleagues in my own practice and, and the people I have the opportunity to, to meet with and engage with right around the world, but also the other people from other uh, professions who are, are part of our family medicine teams and who are committed as we are to delivering the best quality care that we can to our patients and their families and to our communities. And one of the the skills of, of being a good family doctor is, is, is being resilient and being able to, uh, to, to, to deal with the challenges which we face uh, each day and also to be able to adapt uh, your own, uh, the mood that you're projecting uh, to the individual patients who come and see you each day. So I think over time that you, you actually learn um, ways of, of, of behaving which are going to be most effective and, and assist people the most. But I think also you know, some of it's the, the, the inherent uh, personality traits of, of people who go into family medicine uh, in the first place. You know, if you don't like people, you, it's not a good thing to become a family doctor. You know, go and find some other area of medicine or, or endeavour to be, to be involved with. If you genuinely like people, you like engaging with people, you like learning about people and their lives, uh, then this is a great career to be part of. What unifies us as a profession in family medicine, I think, is the core principles which underlie our professional discipline. And of course, defining those core principles was a great part of the work that Dr. McQuinney did, as he described in his very early writings, uh, the, the principles that he articulated about the work that we do and the relationships that we have. With our, with our patients and our communities. And so this is, this is part of what unifies us. What is different is the way that we apply those principles in different contexts. And the context may be different whether you're working as a family doctor in the inner city or in the suburbs of a, of a, large, uh, of a large town or in a rural area or a very remote area, uh, whether you're working in Canada or Australia or many other countries around the world. You know, we still apply the same principles in the work that we do, 
but the context is different, so the way that we practice uh, may be different from place to place. I think this is a really exciting time to be involved in family medicine because the world has rediscovered at the start of this century the importance of primary health care and of family medicine as a way to ensure everybody in our communities, everybody in every nation of the world is able to get access to the health care that they need and that their family members need as well. We've come to a realisation, which was no surprise to us in family medicine, that we can't continue to invest all our resources in major teaching hospitals and in super specialties. We have to have a strong basis of primary care and family medicine in every health system around the world. Through Wonka we believe that 50% of all our medical graduates should be training to become specialists in family medicine uh, if we're actually going to be able to truly meet community needs. And I hope what we see through this century is an end to the age-old ills that we've seen around the world, the, the disparities that we've seen around the world through the people who have access to health care and the people who do not have access to health care. I think it's a real source of shame for the global community that in the year 2015, out of 7 billion people living on the planet, a billion people have no access to health care. No access to doctors, no access to nurses, no access to, to the quality care that we regard as being a right. We regard as being you know, a fundamental thing that everyone should have access to. Everyone should have access to education, everyone should have access to health care.